foreign nationals, I am going to show you how you can flip houses in the USA. Stu from the UK, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I am your host, James Wise, and this, folks, is the show where I work together uh, with real estate investors like yourselves to help you start, grow, build, buy, all kinds of random adjectives, right? Insert whatever adjective you want, your real estate business, your real estate portfolio, your financial situation, right? And today, I'm working with a dude named Stu from the UK. Stu's a funny son of a bitch, this guy. I like this guy. He's funny. Uh, we did a video for the Tenants from Hell series. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I own a sex motel, okay? Uh, you'll have to watch the video to see exactly what that means. There is a lot of messed up stuff that uh, comes with owning a fucking sex motel, okay? Now, uh... You know, uh, yeah, it's just tough, okay? It's tough owning a sex motel. It's, it's a pain in the ass uh, owning a sex motel. Anyway, it's in the show notes, the video. That'll explain why uh, it's called a sex motel. And there's just this one part in the, in the sex motel video where I talked about uh, a little something that uh, the ladies of the night call English country salad. It's very messed up. If it's on your bucket list, you got problems. Uh, all that, again, is in the video. But the, the moral of the story is my dude, Stu, uh, that's what made him decide it was time to start working with Holton Wise. He specifically told me this in a voicemail that he left us, right? He thought that was funny, and he thought that was legit, and that we were pure operators. So uh, you guys should check that out, number one. Number two, I just want to let you all know, Stu is a funny cat. I like this guy, Stu. And Stu, what you're trying to do, brother, you've done real estate uh, in other countries, right? You're, you're from the UK. You've done real estate in, like, Belgium and stuff. Uh, you like the U.S. market. You want to do some deals. Uh, you want to flip houses, right? We talked about some, um, you know, just some rental investments and you're like, man, fuck that dude. It's not enough money. I want to do bigger deals. I want to make a bigger chunk of money in a faster way. So what I did is I brought up a flip for you. And this is, uh, the kind of flip that, uh, is very good for like real estate investors, especially real estate investors like you guys that have access to the Holton Wise team. Uh, to help you out, right? And you could live, you know, here in Cleveland. You could live anywhere in the U.S. Or you could be like uh, Stu and live completely uh, overseas, right? And you could do this all passively. What we have here, it's been on the market for 63 days. 8103 Fernhill Avenue, Parma, 44109. Listed at 109900 Now, before we get into the numbers and whatnot, I want to show you some stuff, right? <clears throat> Look at this. Already been renovated. What the hell? Like, how are we going to flip this, James? What are we going to flip, dude? Look, it's got fresh carpet, fresh agreeable paint, fr uh, fresh white trim. Everything is looking banging. There ain't nothing to rehab, dude. It's it's all done for us. It's it's looking good. The, the kitchen, it's looking, you know, fairly good, right? You know, we have, like, this is a little dated. I'd like to see this improved a little bit, but the backsplash, the countertop... You know, it looks decent. These would probably be better if they were painted white. But more or less, everything is looking pretty good. So you got to wonder, like, what uh, what's the plan, right? We got pretty pretty new stuff in the, in the bathroom there. And uh, just more of the same, right? <laughs> totally fresh house, right? Everything looking good. Hot water tank, probably midlife, right? Should be okay. Shouldn't have to worry about that. Back in the corner here. We got an upgraded electrical panel, right? Okay, so we don't have to worry about the electric panel. Okay, little lean-to garage, very normal. We got the AC unit right here, rock and roll. All right, so we need to flip it, though, right? We need to flip it. I need you, my dude Stu, right? I need you to go ahead and sell this son bitch for 145000 and I want you to do a $20,500 renovation right now. Let me explain. Let me explain, because you got to be confused, okay? You got to be confused. This property, those photos you saw, not exactly what it looks like today. 
The owner of this property did that renovation for tenants and then put tenants in there. The tenants are currently in there paying $995 a month. Here's what you have to understand about this particular market, this Parma City, right? There are like C-class neighborhoods in the, in the Cleveland area, right? Like a lot of the Cleveland stuff that you guys see on the show. If you go to the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods, like all the C-class stuff you guys see, those are like main rental markets, right? The pricing is, is really going to be determined by what investors can pay, right? Because you get a lot of investors who are buying properties in those markets, right? In those types of neighborhoods, the majority of people buying the properties are investors. They're buying them with the intention to put tenants in them and rent them out. And then you have other markets, okay, where the pricing is going to be determined, determined by the owner-occupied market. That's what Parma is, right? Because like this house, $109,900. Tenant is paying ninety nine ninety five rather, right? Why would anybody go in and pay a hundred and ten thousand dollars to get nine hundred ninety five dollars in rent when you could easily go to the C class and get a single family with that type of rent for like sixty grand? You can get a duplex with like fifteen hundred dollars in rent for ten K less than this property. You could spend eighty K on a duplex and get like twelve, thirteen hundred in rent, right? So the the rental market is just not there, right? This seller made a mistake. This seller should have not tried to sell this property with tenants in there, okay? This seller is losing value. You will not, as a seller, maximize your value for this home if you have tenants in there. In addition to that, Stu, those pictures, everything was fly, dog. Everything was fly. There's tenants in there now. It's not going to look that fly. That carpet was fresh. It was new. It was clean. We ain't going to sell it for $145,000 after a tenant lived there, and then they moved out, right? It's not going to look as good, right? That kitchen, I like the back special. I like the countertop, but we need to do a little bit of work to that. we got to fix that up, right? So I think a $20,500 reno uh, is going to be more than enough to get it fresh again. Like, yeah. The wall's already painted, but, dude, now they're going to be scuffed and rough. We need to get that $145,000 price point. We need it to look fresh again. So we're going to have to do the reno again. We're going to have to repaint it again. We're going to have to replace the carpet again. And as far as the kitchen goes, we're going to want to upgrade it a little bit more. We could probably get away with using those cabinets, but I want to definitely paint them white and probably pick up a set of stainless steel appliances, okay? So looking at our renovation... What we're going to want to do is spend approximately $20,500. Now, on the right column, what you see there, all right, you see the high, right? As far as this house, there's like probably no scenario where we need to spend more uh, than the low on our painting and patching walls, refinishing the hardwoods, kitchen, stuff like that, right? I don't see us going to the high end, right? Like where I have a $15,000 I always put that on there for folks like some, you know, we spend between 10 and 15 on these kitchens, right? This is an entry level, entry level market, right? We're trying to sell for 145, so we don't need a $15,000 kitchen. Not to mention the countertop and the backspace is already there, but this is like worst case scenario that I always put on there for folks. And like that bathroom, that bathroom is pretty good. Uh, we may need to do a little bit to it, so I think three is going to more than cover it, right? Because if you notice in this kitchen, let me show you too, and it's going to tie into the bathroom. Let me get to it. Where is my kitchen? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. <clears throat> all right, so like this, Material, okay, this is like a really, really cheap material, right? This is uh, not like a vinyl plank flooring. This is like a rolled material, right? So it's like it's like one big sheet, and it's like a rubber type material. So it looks cool right now, okay? But after they already live there and stuff, you know, there's a good chance that like that may get ripped up and stuff, and we need me to replace that with a vinyl plank flooring, which I would also want to do in the bathroom to make them match. So that's how that's going to go. But even having to do those floors will not have an issue being at the 10K and 3K price points, right? So that's why I have 20500 That's what I think our rental will be. 
So I don't see it going higher than that, and I don't see us needing to spend 5 k because in these entry-level markets, we don't need to do like a custom tile shower. The one-piece sets are fine, right? And then if we go down for the highs, right? Roof, furnace, AC, hot water tank, electrical panel, and windows. Right now, where I stand, I have no reason to believe any of those have a problem, right? Why would the... Why would we assume the furnace is broken, right? There's people living in the property right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to make our offer contingent on a third-party home inspection. We're going to send the inspector in there to verify these things for us. And if he comes back with any issues, I want you to have your line item for what those would cost us, right? Now you know. So if we go in there and say we get it under contract for 90 k we go in there and our inspector says, oh, dude, your roof is terrible, you're going to need a new roof. Now you already know, brother, that, okay, if I need a new roof, that's going to be an additional 5K. So at that point, we can go back to that seller. But more or less, I think we're looking at a $20,500 rental, right? So I want to try to pick it up at 90. I don't think they're going to sell it for their price because right now, the only people looking at this would be investors. But I don't think investors are interested at 1099 because again, you can go to the C-class markets, get more rent for cheaper. So that leads us to our main buyers. Who are the folks that push the values in this neighborhood? The owner-occupant buyers, the first-time home buyers. But dude, how the fuck are they going to buy it? There's a tenant in there. They ain't going to buy it with the tenant in there. So why, that's why I like the relationship you're trying to set up with us, Phil. Or Stu, rather. I'm sorry, Stu. The relationship you're trying to set up with us, Stu, is perfect. Because you could take advantage of that. You could go in. You could pick this thing up, hopefully, at 90 k We'll manage the tenant for you, collect the rent on your behalf, shoot you the cash flow until we can get that tenant out. Then when that tenant moves out, then we'll knock out that $20,000 renovation. Then we will put it on the market, sell it the appropriate way with a fresh reno, stainless steel appliances, get $145,000 selling it to likely a first-time home buyer, leaving you, after all the costs associated with it, a profit of $22,900. So will we do the flip overnight? Probably not. It'll probably take several months to get that tenant out. But hey, dude, the tenant's paying $995. It would still be a cash flow positive property for you. We have the ability to handle all of the management and then when we get that tenant out boom that's when we do the flip that's when we make you your 20k and that would be that deal now in addition to that you asked me some questions okay I want to go through those with you do I need an attorney to do the transaction or do you handle it in-house the way it works in Ohio is uh, we use title companies here right so we would set up a contract so if like you want to do this deal uh, you'd reply to this private email we would send the contract to the seller assuming you and the seller came to an agreement uh, let's say for ninety thousand dollars okay we have the contract set up when it's time for you to wire in your funds uh, we use title companies so you would wire in your funds most likely to this company black tie title they would have your ninety thousand as soon as they they got the deed and all that information and ran the title search from the seller. They flop it and then they give the seller their money, less everybody's commission and all the taxes and all the liens and all the costs. And then you become the owner of the property. So no, no attorneys required. Title company handles closing. All right. Next question. Do you have a specific lender for my situation you can recommend? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. I will send that to you along with this private link. Everybody else, if you're watching this, sales at holdenwise.com. Shoot my team an email. We'll get you our list of lenders. Now, Stu, you're in the UK, brother. So uh, it's an uphill battle for you. I will say that. I know you got like, um, what'd you say you had? I think you said you had like $60,000. Uh, it's going to be an uphill battle for you to get the rest. Like I have lenders, but hey, loaning to people outside of the U.S. is uh, going to be a little more risky. So the majority of my lenders in this list are only U.S.-based lenders, but I have, I think, two or three in there that do lend to foreign nationals. You will have to talk to them specifically about their origination fees, their costs, and their criteria uh, and, you know, if they do flip loans. I know they do a lot of long-term type stuff, uh, but you're going to have to talk to them specifically, and you're going to want to continue uh, to go out there and reach out to other lenders. But we definitely have those, uh, but that, of course, will eat into your profit line. Now, getting a bigger profit line than this, because another question you had asked me was, uh, is there enough inventory uh, to do two to three of these a year? That's up to you, really. That's up to you and how you acquire your funds, bro. Because, um, like, 
twenty thousand dollar profits like this, like it's not like these are coming along every day, and it's not like I could even guarantee to you that the seller is gonna take our offer that's twenty thousand dollars less than his, right? Like this is a, a profitable market, a low cost market, guys. But like, don't think that there's just all this equity on the table. To be successful at flipping houses, you have to systemize it. You have to have the team and the infrastructure in place to knock these things out on budget, on timeline. Holton Wise has provided that to you. But in addition to that, it's a numbers game. You need to do a lot of due diligence on a lot of properties, and you got to put out a lot of offers. We have the ability to do all that for you as many times as you need us to to get the deals done. Uh, but even then, I would say like in the 20K or so range is, is probably uh, where we would be. Uh, to be able to put together like multiples of those a uh, year if uh, you're willing to put in the time and the effort to get as much due diligence and as many offers out there as you need to, right? It's like fishing. You got to have multiple lines in the water. Now, depending on how you come up with your financing though, like depending on like what the situation is with all the lenders that you're talking to, like, you know, again, that could eat into your profit. So, you know, that's really going to be up on you and how much capital you could actually raise and how much effort you want to put into it. And if you're willing to take the risk, do the deals for this like 20K profit less the additional cost of having to borrow money since you need to borrow money at the moment, right? Uh, but if you do set it up where maybe you sell some assets and you end up with like a chunk, right? Like a good $150,000, you want to just keep using that over and over. Yeah, that shouldn't be an issue to continually use that cash over and over and deliver these types of returns. Uh, being a pure cash buyer is definitely going to get you into a lot more deals uh, than being an investor who's also reliant on some loans, right? So that is that. So that uh, is all of your questions. Uh, that is the property. Let me know your thoughts. Again, if you want to do the deal, reply to the private email. We'll take care of it. Everybody else, if you're out there and uh, you like this level of uh, transparency, you know, just somebody shooting you straight, not cutting uh, not giving you, a, you know, fluff or this or that, telling you like, oh, yeah, it's flip houses, it's so easy, blah, 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 blah. It's not that easy, right? You don't get to just be like, I want to be a house flipper. And I'm like, sure, here's $50,000 right now. We got to do some work. Some things got to go the right way. We got to hit timelines. We got to negotiate with sellers. But if you guys are trying to do that, it doesn't matter where you live. You could be anywhere in the world. We can help. Go to HoltonWise.com, hit the Property Search for Sale tab, click on the MLS Search Analysis Show, order yourself a package, and work with us in the same way my man Stu is doing. Also, don't forget to check out that episode of Times from Hell uh, on the Sex Motel to see how me and Stu came together to be working together. That's uh, an enlightening and funny story, if anything. And if you don't believe that I cut it to you straight and I am the most transparent uh, real estate promoter on the internet, you will after you watch that show. So uh, do that and then be sure to smash the subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.